Welcome back everyone to another video. My name is Jose and here we talk about dumb phones and digital minimalism. And today we're going to be taking a second look, an update to the Unplugged launcher. Let's get started. So a couple of months ago, I reviewed the Unplugged Launcher, a very promising launcher that allows you to recover some of your time and that allows you to set up what's distracting and what's not. So if you want to still use your phone, a USB-C phone that is, since they only make USB-C keys as of right now, then whenever you insert it, you have normal mode and you're able to use it, you use all of the functions of your phone without any issues. But whenever you remove it, you only have non-distracting applications. As a user, you set up which applications are distracting and which ones are not. Now, there's a couple of features that have come as of version 1.3 that I think are especially notable. The first one is emergency mode. So essentially, you're able to use emergency mode once a day, and then you are going to be able to use the phone on normal mode without an unplug key. Let's say that you forgot your key at home or that you usually leave it at home, but you still need to access one feature or another because you're in the middle of a pickle or you need to browse something or call an Uber and you forgot to put the Uber on the non-distracting apps then you're going to be able to do this without the need of an unplugged key. That's the first feature. The second feature that I actually like is that you're able to set a different home screen. Before you had to do a couple of extra things in order to do that, this time around, Unplug will work in the background and you can set up your favorite launcher. Let it be before launcher, let it be more minimalistic launchers or whatever launcher it is that you actually use. I think that they have brought a lot of balance when it comes to the integration of features and they have actually, whenever you try to open an app, you are now met with a quote about digital minimalism or reducing compulsive use, which I actually think is a good reminder of why you set up the unplug key first and you set up the application to be distracting instead of non-distracting. So there's a lot of stability improvements and a couple of extra features. And I think Unplugged Launcher is becoming one of the best launchers, especially for those who do not want to trade off their smartphones for dumb phones, but want to use their smartphones in a more mindful way. This key really gives you the choice to do that. Of course, there are other programs and other things that I have reviewed, but honestly, this is my favorite implementation so far because it's cost effective. You don't have to change your phone as long as you have a USB-C device. And it works very reliably, honestly, when it, you set it up as your main home screen. It also, of course, brings the change of grayscale to color or color to grayscale whenever you plug and unplug the key. So I think it's a great implementation for those who are looking for digital minimalism or just to stop using their smartphone for a little while and just put it away or just use tools when you're at work and when you're actually trying to be productive. And whenever you come back home, you can set it up and then plug the key and go back into checking email or just checking social media, but without too much distraction throughout your day. Now, if you want to get an unplugged key and you want to get it at a discount, I have an offer code. This is an affiliate link, so I'll be receiving a kickback from that. If you want to use it and if you want to buy it, make sure to get it from there. They're pretty affordable, about 30 US dollars. And shipping does take a little bit long, just my experience, but I think it's worth it once you get it. If you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments below as always. And thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the comments.